Find out how you can eat your way out of your emotional desperation in this hard economic time. Money, your job, the economy, these are the worries keeping many of us up at night. Well, what if I told you you could eat your worries away through a food mood connection? He wrote the book, The Green Foods Bible, and now David Sandoval is here to share his secrets, secrets with us. Good morning, David. Good morning. Okay, so I understand you have a connection here to one of our guests we had recently on the show. Oh, yeah, there was a two-time uh, Grammy Award-winning hip-hop artist, Fat Man Scoop. He had severe diabetes, and he came to me to change his body with food, just like we're going to talk about today. And we actually reversed his diabetes in a pretty short time, and we featured him on the show. And here you are. You say anxiety and insomnia go hand in hand and all lead back to the same thing, your diet. How so? I mean, why can't we sleep? Well, it's sort of a catch-22. One of the reasons we can't sleep is because of our diet and our worries. And then another thing is when we can't sleep, it contributes to our stress. So it is like a, you know, it's a slippery slope, as they say. It's easy to slide down. Okay, so how do we get started? What things can change our mood when it comes to the imbalance in the body? Well, some of the foods that we could eat at night that would really be helpful are like green salads, uh, green foods, of course. I love green foods. Um, you don't think about eating Cheerios or oatmeal at night, no. but they actually soothe the body and calm the body down. And so we typically think of those as breakfast foods. And then, of course, if you're going to sweeten it, make sure you don't use a white refined sugar. Make sure that you're using a sugar that has the natural minerals in it because that helps control the rate at which sugar enters your blood and thus the peak gotcha. and that sort of stimulation that we get. No, so. I yeah, so the stimulating foods are obviously those that we might want to avoid. Okay, now I know uh, oftentimes when you're having trouble sleeping, you're having a conversation in your mind, you're tossing and turning, you're chatting, you can't leave the day behind. What do you recommend for something like that? Well, there are three primary reasons why people can't sleep. As you said, one of them is like inner chattering. You're running a list through your mind. Maybe you're excited or nervous. Um, another reason is because your muscles are tense and you can't, you toss and you turn and you can't sort of sink into the pillow. And then the third reason, and this is one that's really common in today's modern life, is a lack of melatonin, which is actually a hormone released by the pituitary gland that controls our deep sleep, which is the one that's most rejuvenating. Two hours of deep sleep is, is better than six hours of tossing and turning. Okay, now you've got tea here. Is this for the calming of the mind? Yeah, um, when your mind is sort of running too fast, put a, a paper and a pencil next to the bed. Write down the things you're worried about. Have a nice cup of herbal tea. Maybe take a hot bath, you know, with the, you know, uh, and turn down the lights. Have some mood music and relax because that's going to help you, you know, to soothe you. And then before bed, of course, you got to worry about the things that might overstimulate the body. Okay. Now, what about, you said lack of melatonin. I see blackberries and strawberries here. Well, blackberries and strawberries are more um, the things that like passion fruit is even the best at relaxing the muscles as well. But um, a special fruit that's not here called tart Montmorency cherry actually is a very high natural source of melatonin. Now, the reason that melatonin doesn't enter our brain is because of artificial light okay. and artificial heat. When the sun goes down and when it cools down, we're going to keep we you right tired. there. We're back in just a moment. Stay with us. We'll talk bad foods when we return.